This comes out of section 2.1, First Principles. So along the lines in chapter 1, we found this expression that the slope equals the limit as h goes to 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a over h. I've introduced this new notation here of f prime. Uh, f prime is, is another notation for calling it the first derivative. So we should describe what the derivative is. Um, so if we're going to spend a whole bunch of time talking about derivatives, and sorry, I wrote this down ugly here, derivative, um, we better define what it is. So it's interpreted as kind of one of two things, the slope of the tangent. Uh, so if you've got the curve, you know, y equals f of x uh, at a, as we've talked about before, uh, the, at the point a comma f of a, the slope of the tangent is going to be f prime of a. Um, and so that's just, again, another notation that I used above. It's also, you can describe as an instantaneous rate of change, and is, that's especially useful if you're talking about real-life things. But so if, for example, if position is a function of time, uh, then f prime of time is going to actually be your change in instantaneous rate of change of position with respect to time, which is actually velocity. Um, and we'll get into a bunch of examples of that, especially as we get into chapter 3. So we'll talk about the derivative as a function. So we'll have, you know, our starting function, whatever that might be, parabola or polynomial or square root function, whatever it is. The derivative of that is going to be the limit as h goes to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Looks identical to what we've already been using up above, except instead of using a, which we usually had a number for, 1 or 2 or negative 7, where we were finding the tangent line, we're going to leave it as an x. Um, definitely the derivative can only be defined wherever the function is defined, and, and even in some cases there are some places where you can't find the derivative. But let's do a, a quick and relatively simple example of finding the derivative of one of our favorite functions, y equals x squared. So y equals x squared, we already have a sense of what that picture looks like. It's a parabola, and we want to know the slope of the tangent line at any point uh, by finding this. So f prime x equals the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So it's the limit as h goes to 0 of x plus h squared minus x squared over h. So if I do a tiny bit of expanding here on the top, I've got x squared plus 2hx plus h squared minus x squared over h. The limit as h goes to 0 the x squared minus x squared goes away, and I have 2hx plus h squared on top. You can always factor out that h at this point, and you end up the limit as h goes to 0 of 2x plus h, which, if h goes to 0, the derivative of this function is just 2x. Now, what does that tell me? If somebody said, what's the slope of the tangent line at any given point? The slope of the tangent at x equals 7 is going to be 2 times 7, which is 14. The slope of the tangent line is 14. The slope of the tangent at x equals negative 11. 2 times negative 11 is negative 22. And you could, you know, draw those tangent lines and find out that that is actually the case, and that this derivative is actually a very important little uh, function to have and can give us the slope of the tangent line at any point on that curve. turns out for this example that the curve is defined for all values of x and the derivative is defined for all values of x. In other words, you could find the slope of the tangent anywhere on that curve. Uh, won't always be the case when we get some more complicated functions with holes in them or uh, asymptotes or kinks in them, points and things like that. But we'll talk about that in the next example.